Alrighty guys, how should I start this? How should I start this? Can we just take a moment to appreciate the Christmas packaging that was still available for me? Like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay guys, I feel like everybody already knows what this is. If you've been a subscriber to my channel for a really long time, then you know the exact color combination that's in this bag so it is a bag on my purse piece list so check marking it off for this one okay first let me just take off the really cute string right here Oof. this is so freaking cute i cannot how cute is that okay anyways anyways so one thing that i would like to say i don't know if i've said this in another video or not but my favorite thing about Dior is their attention to detail and I'm talking about just packaging let me just get this off my chest I actually hate Louis Vuitton packaging and it's not that I hate the color combination like the blue ribbon with the orange it's the fact that anytime you buy a Louis Vuitton bag I don't know it's just other than the ribbon it's very slapdash like when you open the box there's no tissue it's literally a cardboard box and then the dust bag and then the bag it's like the bag could be like moved around it's not even in it nicely if that makes sense whereas with chanel bags they actually put the tissue layer by layer and then you have the little chanel sticker and it's just a very nice experience dior is a step above the chanel experience in all my times of unboxing a dior bag which is not very very often but dior for me has the best experience like let me just show you this example i just want us to like be doing this together do you guys see that there's just like a layer of tissue on top you see how the bag is in here but there's a layer of tissue on top they literally accordion style the tissue there, like just on the spot. So if you guys ever buy a Dior bag, just watch your essay, just wrap it up. It's, it's really, it's a very pleasant thing to watch. Okay, so the bag is in here. So the essay that I met at the store, he was actually super, super wonderful because I told him that it was my first Lady Dior bag. They didn't have any more Christmas boxes left or the Christmas ribbon, but he was able to package this for me. And he even put the little star just because, yeah, he wanted it to be like super special. And I was like, so cute. Alrighty, so we are going to unbox it. My very first Lady Dior bag. This ribbon is exquisite. I feel like the Chanel ribbon isn't the shiny one. The Chanel ribbon is like cloth. But anyways, so... Guys, the little sticker says Dior. Okay, are you guys ready? I feel like unboxing videos are kind of like roller coasters where you're just going up and up and up and up and up and you have butterflies in your stomach and you're just like waiting at the edge of your seat to see what's gonna come out of the bag or the box but okay ready oh guys look i feel like the lighting in my room right now isn't very good because well, it is nighttime. So as you can see, first off, I do have a Twilly on mine. And I mean, I would like to show you what the Twilly is, but he did such a good job on it. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it, but I'll put a picture somewhere over here if I can find it online, what my Twilly does look like. I wanted to get something different. I know a lot of people get the gray Twillies or even the light pink Twillies to go with this one. But because this was my first mini Lady Dior bag or just Lady Dior bag in general, I did want to get a more, I don't know, eclectic Twilly. Let me give you a close up. Can you see how it says Dior in cursive right here? And there's little pink hearts right here so i wanted the pink and the twilly to kind of accent this and then you can see the twilly on this side it has a little flower and it says dior in cursive so he was telling me how some people don't like you see how both of the twillies at the end are showing right here he said some people actually don't like this so he did offer me to put the twilly on just kind of halfway i'll insert a picture of what i'm talking about because i never really paid attention to that but i personally really like having the twillies like both on each side but after looking at more pictures of it on one side i actually think that's really cute too but so oh obviously i got the pink lotus mini lady dior 
and then with the champagne gold hardware right over here oh it's just it's so pretty it's so pretty do i even want to take this off i don't even know yeah so this is it i thought about doing a review video on this because normally when i do unboxings i do do review videos afterwards but i feel like lady dior's are so classic there's just so many reviews already so if you guys would like a review please give this video a thumbs up and let me know yeah uh, okay okay i'll just i'll just undo it okay ready oh my god you know what i love about chanel bags and lady dior bags is the asmr sound i don't know if you guys have ever noticed but like do you hear that? Like that sound when I've seen people just show Lady Dior bag videos because I watched a lot of them and just when I hear them putting the strap on it, the chain on it, like this sound is so ASMR to me. The same thing when I see somebody opening a Chanel classic flap when they just like open it, that turn lock sound with the chain and everything. I don't know, I'm weird, right? But that, that to me is just a quick little side note how relaxing it is but yeah look how cute it is so one thing i do have to note about the pink lotus so online it actually looks a lot more pink and pastel i would say whereas in person it's actually a lot more muted and i did hear other people say too that because of the pink iridescent in it that the pink lotus shade varies from bag to bag like some of them are actually more pink some of them are leaning more towards white i guess you would say i definitely see myself adding another lady dior in the future far future okay guys far far future this is my first mini lady dior i finally got my beauty bag okay so let me just tell you about my experience on how i got this so i did go to the dior store in rodeo I th i'll link the vlog up of when i went there and i did see it in person so i already knew that the pink lotus did vary from shade to shade because it does look a lot pinker and more iridescent online than it does in person but i still really really liked it i actually debated on getting it in the all matte nude color i heard that actually the all matte lady dior's the all matte black even there's a new white one that came out which is stunning apparently they actually don't wear well over time in terms of upkeep it's really hard to keep it in that pristine condition and even though the blush one was really cute i just i couldn't do that the other color that i was leaning towards but obviously they didn't have it i really wanted to see it in a blush color but in just the normal lambskin i believe so i'll insert a picture of it somewhere over here if i didn't see it in blush then i did know that i did want it in the pink one i d i was able to see it in gray as well and the gray was like this soft iridescent gray which was really really cute but i knew in the back of my head that i eventually want to get a gray chanel classic flap so i don't want two gray bags it personally for me so that's why i opted to get it for with the pink and obviously the pink lotus is the color that i've been wanting and then you know the only downside too is that now i feel like i want to collect more twillies not saying i want 10 or something like that but i feel like i definitely want at least two more twillies just to swap out and i know some people get twillies on each side i don't think i would do that but i definitely want to add maybe a twilly with my initial on it and it just kind of opens a whole nother world not in a good way because it's like i already spent this much money on this and then now i'm into twillies 2021 just started and i'm already getting broke but yeah so this is it Alrighty guys, so that is the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys a quick little unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <sighs> Are you ever just like, you look at a bag and you're just like, wow, I feel good. Like, I'm at peace. I'm weirdly calm right now. That's how I feel. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! hi again i'm back <laughs> so i took apart my whole lighting setup but i did want to just share something really quickly is that my bag also is brand new so the bag that i was trying in the vlog i don't know if i'm going to post this one first or the vlog one first but the bag that i was actually trying on in store was like their display one and he told me that he was able to get me a brand new one so nobody touched this bag before i got it so that was actually really really nice because you know sometimes you have to get the display bag at the store because that's the only one left but yes yeah, so i was actually really really excited when he took this one out he's like we actually just got these ones in today so don't worry like i know with covid don't worry nobody else has touched this bag so that was actually really really exciting 
And yeah, I'm going to put it on and try it and take off all the little stickers. But that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>